Okay, uh, in this agriculture video, uh, we're gonna focus much on Pearson Square. Pearson Square, uh, most of the time is asked in agriculture practical, that's a paper two by Malawi National Examination Board. Uh, Pearson Square, I should say that is a method which is used to formulate feed relations. Feed relations, they use Pearson Square. So, without wasting much of our time, let's see the example. Good question, Tinkafusidobanjimaiso. The question leads using the Pearson Square method. Calculate the proportions of, uh, of soya meal and bean meal feed ingredients required to formulate a feed dish containing 25% uh, crude protein from soya, which contains 35% crude protein, and a bean meal, which contains 10% crude protein. Assuming that uh, the total amount of food required, that's um, 200 gauges. So, Mujijia uh, what We should uh, formulate a feed ratio. The feed ratio uh, should contain 25% crude protein. Ready? And ingredients which are going to use, that's 35% uh, uh, crude protein of, the, of soya. That's uh, soya. Soya, 25% CP, and a bean meal, a bean meal which contains 10% uh, crude protein. So combination of these, our feed ratio should contain 25% um, crude protein. So the first step to do this one, uh, as the name suggests, we are going to draw the square. So I'm drawing a square here. So this is the square, and um, what we needed to do, uh, or the second step, we're going to place the desired percentage in the relation uh, to get a percent. So uh, the required, that's 20, 25 percent. So we're going to put that 25 percent at the center. So this is 25 percent, and uh, the third step, uh, we're going to draw. Uh, diagonals. So these are the diagonals. Diagonals. So I should draw. We you know the, that's the diagonal there. And uh, step number four, uh, we're going to place the percentages of uh, ingredients to the left side of uh, our um, uh, square. So we have uh, soya. Soya, which contains uh, thirty-five percent. So soya meal, soya meal, that's uh, 35 percent, and uh, we have um, maize meal, we have maize meal, maize meal, sorry, so maize meal, which contains uh, 10 percent. We go to that ananaso. It doesn't matter. Go to the amuya bandi iji zibegantu. We are toza kalaba. We use kalaba. There's no problem. And uh, the next step uh, is to subtract diagonally. So we're going to subtract 10 minus 25 diagonally. And our answer will be here, diagonal like that. So uh, we don't consider the signs. We know good, uh, 10 minus 25, that's negative 15. So we don't consider the signs. So 10 minus uh, 25, the answer is uh, 15. So here, that's 15 parts. And these 15 parts correspond to uh, soya meal because the upper part of the uh, square we have soya meal. Of course, uh, we have subtracted from uh, maize, we have used the maize meal, but the parts we are going to find here are from uh, soya meal because the top part is uh, soya meal. And the next thing we need to do, we are going to subtract uh, diagonally by the other ingredient, which is the soya meal. So we are going to subtract 35 minus 20, 25. And the, our answer here, it will be uh, 10. So we have uh, 10 parts. And these 10 parts correspond to men's meal. Of course, it is a good soya meal, but uh, the 10 parts that is a... We correspond to uh, men's meal because the bottom part of our square uh, is in the men's meal. And the next thing we need to do, uh, we need to find the uh, total parts. So, total parts 
if we add 15 and 10 we have uh, 25 parts 25 parts ndi kuti tatana nazo mine bop so um chime chiji we are going to take 15 parts of soya meal and 10 parts of maize meal if you combine them uh, it will give us a uh, 25% cold protein so uh mu question mwa to amazani na kuti the food required is 200 kg so we are going to use that um my parts could it be the how many gauges from soya meal and how many gauges from maize meal uh, are required so that if you add them can give us 200 kgs so they are the maize meal so maize meal we need to find the grams of maize meal kilograms that is maize meal so uh, parts of maize meal that's 10 parts over total parts that's um, 25 and we are going to multiply with the uh, amount of feed required which is 200 uh, kgs so uh, 25 into 200 uh, the answer is uh, 8 8 times 10 the answer is 80 so we have 80 kgs and the next thing um, we should calculate uh, kgs required of um, soya meal so we have a uh, soya meal here we have a soya meal soya meal parts of soya meal that's a 15 over total parts that's 25 times 200 gauges that's the amount of feed required is equal to uh 25 into 200 that's 80 8 times 15 uh that is 120 so we are putting here 120 kgs so you can see that uh, if we add 8 8 and the 120 that will be 200 kgs what it means here is that we need to collect 200 kgs of soya meal i mean we need to collect 120 kgs of soya meal and the 80 kgs of maize meal so that if we can, we can combine the grams will give us 200 kgs and the amount of feed in terms of proteins it will contain uh 25 percent green protein so this is how we uh we construct our pearson square it mind you if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if there's any question uh in any any subject uh this is my number 882 435 you can also be a member of unique online classes via whatsapp there's no problem with that so the made this bangira but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also share the videos you can also like the videos there's no problem with that it's like you are going to support me and so uh before i close the chapter uh, i've left the exercise below uh your exercise it leads using the person square i calculate the amount of feed uh, required to make a feed ratio containing uh 30 percent crude protein weighing 300 kgs from men's meal of 10 percent crude protein and the 15 percent crude protein of ground nuts that's a ground nuts meal right? so um, uh, try to formulate um that ratio using the pearson square mugabanga banga uh, you can send the answer uh to my number 882 435 562 it so that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh, have a nice prep